射蘇生発動やはり来たか It's here boys Here it is The update I just was on stream And I had to I had to just get the fuck off stream I just had to do it We did review the stream、uh, Review the update on stream But I'm gonna review it on YouTube for you guys Of course you know I gotta give you guys I'm up this time. I'm not gonna be late. Going on Reddit, all that good, gushy stuff. But I just wanted to say、um, to NetMarvel, you did a good job this time. I, I shot on you on your other thing, but this is actually not that bad. They had a, a lot of little sneaky things in here that I was really like, oh, okay, all right. That's what I'm talking about. So let's just get right into it. All right, first thing we're gonna have up here is that they're dropping three heroes. One of the heroes is going to be a new advent, which is going to be,、uh, where is it? I think it's, I, I use this as a thing. It's going to be Lily, which is going to be this one. Decorated Darling Lily,、uh, which is a water attack hero, SSR, of course. Everything's SSR.、Uh, wind attack hero, SSR. So we're pretty much probably going to do this. But they also are dropping a wind hybrid SSR. This is the first time I've seen them drop two new banners. So this is like, oh, <laughs> my crystals. That is 4,000 crystals. As much as I love you. God damn, you trying, you trying to come from my head, man. I ain't got that saved up. I was, about to, I was about to drop some crystals for Amina. And of course, if you guys don't know, I'm going to do、uh, separate videos for them. I like to really give them their own little light, discuss, analyze as much as we can.、Uh, I'm going to go off the whim and say that just in this video, this is going to be uploaded first, obviously. They both look so stupid. I'm gonna have to go with. I think the hybrid is gonna be better. Let's see if I'm right or not. I'm gonna save her for last, because I think this is gonna be smart to do her. Maybe I should do her last. Who cares? Alright, so we have three new、uh, heroes. This is the advent. So we're getting another water attack type advent character, which is great because of the fire is still pretty dominant.、Um, now Nikita's added to the, the mix. Morgan's still running rapid. And Rue. So, you know, who knows what these characters do? Who, let's see how they counteract the meta. I wonder if they're PV, PvP or PvE focused. If they're going to be countering other things because they're going to keep adding content because they know that their back is against the wall. So, and I like this back against the wall stuff. So, we got boom, Ravine of Memories. Chapter 12 is coming out. We already kind of know this.、Uh, they're letting you know that there's going to stars acquired per adventure will also be marked to make it easier. So they're letting you know that you can now see easier where you need to go. Like most people have finished that stuff already. I think I still have two things that I never went back and done. Boom. Lily's going to be the new advent. Also, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba! I don't know what noise that was, but Britain is actually finally coming to single player. It's actually like slightly sad because that was like one of the things about playing multiplayer. It's like, you'll never get me. But now it's like, fuck multiplayer. Once again, another slap in the face to the multiplayer guys. I'm so sorry. I wish that they would give a fuck about you, but they don't. But <laughs> we still have the Briton here, and、um, he is going to be. And I, if you guys haven't noticed, my, this is where my, my friend sits here and gets、uh, his ass kicked in Dragon Ball Fighters. So. The seats reserved. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I was too excited. So, this, but t e n a n t you're sitting next to me. You know, you know what I'm saying? So,、um, yeah, so Britain is going to single player now, which is amazing. That's dope because now you can farm Britain. Britain's a pretty cool character, very、uh, AoE focused. If you guys were thinking about doing some AoE stuff, maybe I'll make a video. <laughs> I definitely tried to do Britain and Kali, it was a nightmare. But outside of that, we have the nice combined badges system, which I think is still like. For me, but now that the costumes are more accessible to people, and now you really can't say they're, they're literally 200 crystals, you can get it, but no one's gonna have a costume because there's now two banners to summon on. So, good luck with that.、Um, <laughs> good luck with wanting to buy a costume, unless you really love it, or you're gonna drop that bread. That bread. Who knows who? I'm not doing that. So,、uh, yeah. So, what they're letting you know here is that you can combine、um, you can combine badges of a similar, like I said, a similar grade. And same type. So blue, blue one stars can combine. And, but the problem here, come on, come on, dog, come on, is that you can acquire them different types of badges with the same or higher grade. So you can do this, and it's like it's showing right there 5,000, and you're gonna get the same grade. So 
you do one 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 I, unless you can do like one 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 and get a six which sounds stupid i highly doubt it works like that then i'll give them a, a kudos a pat in the back but if you go one 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 it's only gonna go two and then you gotta do two 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 two, two to go five, you know whatever but uh it's just just make the rune just make the, the badge better just make it like runes and then you'll be fine just you farm the highest tier and then you just get five and sixes that's that should all it, it should that's the only thing it should be all right so uh then it just letting you know that done uh there's gonna be more badges dropping and now you can uh use your dungeon tickets in the costume badges do not fall for the trap do, don't don't you dare use the dungeon ticket on the shitty ass badge system i swear to god i will come into your account i will pop up as soon as you know when you press it and it's like do you want to use it i'm gonna pop up and i'm like don't you fucking dare that's exactly what's gonna happen don't you fucking dare use the thing evo dungeon gold dungeon and advent dungeons that's the only thing your dungeon tickets are supposed to be used on not on fucking badges the drop rate is terrible do not do it i swear i will find you also, they're showing off the new Edwin skin, and it says costume codex. So what I'll probably do with these costume codex, they're probably going to drop in a few hours, or maybe they're dropping it now as I'm doing this. Uh, all the costumes. Usually, they, that's what they did before. They dropped all the costumes maybe a few hours later. So then we'll just go into those in a separate video. So sorry. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm uh, game theoristing you guys right now. Uh, this is just letting you know about the boon. Normal costumes, 200. Special costumes are still going to do that. And again, like I said in my I Was Wrong video, the special costumes are still there and they're still adding them so this is not this should not be a surprise to you edwin seems to not be a special costume um because they would you would see question marks here uh no sorry exclamation points here so his is a standard costume um either that or they blanked it out for no reason but i think this is a standard costume and then we'll probably see the special costumes coming up soon Guild battle improvements, not really gonna go too much into this, but they've made the guild battle slightly better. They've been doing slight little tweaks over and over again to try to get it in a good spot. I think that they should just, you know, it's 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 kind of just stale where it is because it's just arena twice, you know, so with, with forced cooperation with other people. So they could flare it out, but it's the same thing. Guild battle, uh, the, the guild leader can end the battle, stuff like that. Nothing too fancy here. Not gonna spend too much time on here. This is actually great. Add a new laboratory function. You can now change your insignias. Beautiful. Have you been collecting dark insignias, but you don't have a dark team at all? Like, what? Awesome. Now you can just switch those darks into a different color. And that is gonna allow you to, cause I know a lot of people when the, the whole fire, of all these fire monsters were coming out, now you can finally just take all your shitty light or whatever units you're not really using or you don't just care for and then boost up your fire teams, boost up your water teams. And now, now they're dropping two extra water heroes. I know a lot of people are probably light on water like myself. So this is dope that I can probably take my dark insignias and then switch them into my into my water to get my water teams up, depending. But see, because the thing is that the new advent is water, but there's nothing that that you're gonna use it for. I guess Nikita, but like who knows if it's gonna be great for Nikita? And most people were tempted into Verdandi, so who knows if this new character is gonna be like, oh, I don't need Verdandi anymore. UI updates. Now they're just telling you um, how long these events last for. Beautiful, great uh, quality of life change here. Uh, I've always was like, I don't know if I have to still do this event. And then when it goes away, I didn't know when it went away. This is a nice little reminder. God bless America. <laughs> Taunt, you now see who you're taunted by. We clapped it up on stream. Let's clap it up on YouTube. Clap it up. Yes, this is necessary, especially once they added the taunt rune into the damn game, this was necessary because it was just too annoying when other characters, attackers, hybrids, supports can now taunt you and they don't have taunt in their kit. And unless you checked out before, what you can say is your fault, but how do you know after like three of their turns go who you were actually taunted by? There's no way to know that. Now you do know. Change the description of the melancholy debuff. Buffs effects are not applied. Buffs uh, effects are not applied unless buff cannot be removed. So they changed up Melancholy a little bit, so we'll see how that how that actually works out. They changed how additional HP recovery to auto HP recovery. I don't know if that changes how it really works, but you know, just like slight changes in the wording. Uh, the locked hero prompt, so now you can actually finally finish out locking, uh, pressing a locked hero for something, instead of it just saying, this hero's locked, and then it just, there's nothing else. So that's a nice little small change. Uh, letting you know about your max hero badges. And this one's actually pretty big. Hero details has been improved to show the overall maximum stat value of a hero can achieve per category. 
So now you can see how much of something you can get. It's always been theorized that you can only get like 75 of something and there's no point in going higher than that. But then you would see someone's skill that said they got like 80, which is like cane. And you're like, wait, how does that work? I thought it was 75 and then how the Cynthia's work. So now we can actually see the maximum stat value. What is the most that I can get? And they also have stated here that some limits have also been increased as compared to before. It kind of sucks that it's like, ooh, some, which one? Just fucking tell us, that'd be great. Cause I would just rather know which ones are increased and what's the maximum so we can just get on to building. That's excitement for us. You, uh, you the devs gotta understand that, that like type of stuff like that for us that are really interested in making really good characters and builds just let us know. Like if, if I can get a hundred percent on something, let me know. Like, like here it says a hundred and point ninety five on accuracy. It's like, <laughs> I don't want this character to miss ever, but like, who cares? Unless accuracy actually stands for, uh, landing a debuff, then who, no one's ever going to build that. No matter how much they try to force it down your throat, no matter how many times I get evaded in Nikita, I'm not building accuracy. Just, just not doing it. Even though some of my characters have accuracy, uh, some nice little changes to, uh, to Nikita dungeon. Tayo is not as useless as he is still useless. Um, Sir Dick's thing, they just changed it because it says female heroes and they said, fuck heroes. Now let's call them enemies because they're against us. Cause you know, I don't know, sexism, feminism shit. All right. So they changed her skills, but no one has a Rebecca costume. So who gives a fuck about that? So that's pretty much everything else. And, um, they just did some other, like nice slight changes. I, I think that the auto, uh, the auto into arena is still there, but it's a really big, um, thing. A lot of the stuff that they said that we're going to do plus some extra stuff. So with the extra stuff that they added in, I'd say that we're about broke even <laughs> as far as the negativity that we had. And it's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, they changed the way this, the, the gold dungeon looks nice. It looks like the same arena in which they shot um, Isabelle's um, S3, sorry. So a lot of things just kind of change and uh, 10 good ones by competing attack phase PVP matches. You know, they, they changed a decent amount of stuff. I, I do like it. Of course, uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing what those characters do, but we're going to have to get to that point once we get there, and I will see you guys in those videos. If you guys have any questions, um, whether this is on YouTube or Reddit, feel free to just uh, hit me up and uh, in those in those forums wherever you found this video. I will be there. I, I pretty much respond to everyone, whether you're giving me feedback, whether I like it or not. And uh, yeah, I'm trying my best to make sure that you guys know what's going on in this game at all points and times. Keep your hands and your hands and feet in the ride, and we will try to ride the Knights Chronicle train as long as we can. I really like this game, regardless of how you know bad it's been lately, and uh, I'm not quitting because <laughs> I need one, two, three lolly girls. <laughs>